Harvesting the Seed of Love Christmas Message My beautiful humanity, I am here to wrap you in my love. I am here to dry your tears, to keep you safe. I am here to show you the truth about love, now in this season of Christmas. I come to release the hand of fear that has gripped your heart. I come to free you that this gift of Christ, of my living love, can find its way into your heart. Not for a day or two at Christmas when the lights and the candles and the words of the songs make you pause. No, I come to claim your hearts for the love that Christ may find its dwelling place in you. It is in this time when so many celebrate the coming of light, the miracle of its presence in the world, that there is an opening, a crack in the armor of your precious hearts. For there is something here that touches the world once again, that returns it for a moment to golden possibility. Something that brings a rise in the human spirit, that makes you believe that giving is important and that love is far more than you dreamed. Into this opening I come each year, pouring my love into each and every opened heart. O oh, beloved ones, how I rejoice in every tiny ounce of love received, for in your receiving you are fed. I promise you that it is a love that feeds and sustains you. It is a love that is the foundation of the world. Love is the substance of creation, the truth of my being. And it is this very same love moving forth into form that is the love that plays through Jesus. Beloved ones, the truth is this. No matter how you deny it, no matter how many years you turn away, nothing changes love's truth. Nothing changes the fact that it is love that brings life, love that illuminates, love that sustains, protects, and commands the very particles of energy that create the world that you see. Each year at Christmas, the light pours in, knocking at the door of every human heart. The living light that we name Christ, that light that illumined Jesus whose birth is now celebrated. It does not change whether someone believes in a certain way or not. Each year you have the choice of allowing that light to enter your heart, to illuminate your life. It is no accident that Christmas comes and Hanukkah and Yule and the solstice which makes the light return right before the turn of the year. It is so that the light of Christ may illuminate your life and may make known to the truth of your heart. It may come to show you how it is that you bring forth the perfection of your purpose in me, the purpose for which you have come to earth. It is so that you can see yourself clearly going into a new year, viewed in the light. It is so that you can see and know the truth of our relationship that my love has come to be made manifest in the world as you. It is a time of important choices. Truly, I promise you, that Christ now comes to earth as never before, as the flame of love ready to melt the frozen hearts. I have explained to you before that it is you, your hearts, that are now at the point of the Christ incarnate. It is your life, each of you, that now brings forth the truth that Christ is my living love and that Jesus truly did come to show you all he could do and more that you would do. Yet when you look around you see a world filled with fear, war and rumors of war. Darkness and fear grip many hearts. Life on earth seems precarious at best. Dear ones, this is why I need you. I need you to remember love. I need you to choose faith in life. I need you to open your hearts that love may come to dwell on earth through you. Will you choose love or will you choose fear? When you read that sentence, most of you say, well, of course, I choose love, but do you? Oh, precious ones, how do you make your choice? The choice is made by what you pay attention to, by what you believe. You, my humanity, create moment by moment the world that you see. This world is one big self-fulfilling prophecy. 
What you believe is what you create. You must choose love now. So I ask you to be deeply honest with yourself. Do you truly believe in love? My beautiful children of love, it is in your daily life, your inner dialogue, your deep and powerful beliefs about the world that you make your choice. Each year I told you how the light pours more and more to earth. This year the light becomes the world. For I am calling you home to me. Now all matter begins to unfreeze. The love that you are now will become available to all right where you are. You do not need to rise up to someone and overcome the world. All you need do is to return to your heart. And the truth of love is there to greet you. When you can recognize the truth of love, you become a blazing star. The light of Christ fills your heart and your life, and you shall light the way for all who come near. In other words, you come directly into contact with Christ, the love now reborn in each heart in the world. The love that I am commands creation as does the love within you. Love in your heart brings love in your life. It places you back in my arms. It will return you to the grace of the love's of truth before you decided to believe in darkness, in evil as well as the good. It is Christmas and the light of love now comes and waits for acceptance in each human heart. When received, each heart returning to love becomes a glorious beacon of life and of light, for it is now open to the light of Christ, the truth of all life on earth. When you choose to believe in me, no matter what the world seems to show you, suddenly the Christ light can show through your open heart. Oh, the golden beauty, the sparkling rays of living love blazing forth into that darkness that was the world, your life before the return of light. I hear constant prayers from people saying, God, what can I do? What can I do to make my life better? What can I do to get back on track, to get over this heartbreak? And my favorite, of course, what can I do to help? So many of you feel so powerless, powerless to change a corrupt political structure, a dishonest money-mad money -mad world, powerless to make a change so that the millions who are hurting, starving, poverty-stricken, can have a tiny portion of the hoarded wealth of the power-hungry. I tell you, this is how you make a difference. Come back to love. Return to your heart, align the choice of your free will to love. Love always claims its own. So if your heart is returned to love, all those in your life, your personal world shall begin to be warned by the love coming through you. I promise you that your inner work, your efforts to return your faith to love, are the only thing worth applying your energy to. The laws of love, energy, of the illuminating light are higher laws than the laws of the world. You do have faith until you have regained enough of your heart for it to start magnetizing all good to you. You have to choose to have your heart be whole. It only made some difficult choice because you've been away so long, away from the real spiritual walk, the choice for love. Beautiful ones, you are the glistening jewel that is my heart. There is nothing in all creation like you. Please, please be willing to explore what this means. Place your hand in mine. Answer the door of your heart. I am coming to show you what it is that you can do to return the world of love. It is not outside of yourself. It is in your heart. Every action of your life in order to be real, in order to be authentic, to be you living your faith must spring forth from the overflow of love from your heart. Only then will you understand what was that was born with Jesus as he came into the world. Only then will your life too be filled with love and your precious free will dedicated to love's service. The laws of life are simple. As you give, so shall you receive. As you sow, so shall you reap. These things you know. What you haven't realized, strangely enough, is that it is the seeds you sow every moment of your life that you are reaping. Not just the seeds you sow on Sunday or some other little piece of time when you are being spiritual. 
So if you sow fear, you will not reap fear? You will. I have kept it simple, which is a way of recognizing truth. So if you are afraid, especially of love, it is fear that you are sowing. If you are anxious most of the time, it is anxiety that you are sowing. If you are loving, it is love you are sowing, and thus it will be love that you reap. The key, dear one, is honesty. Look at the truth of your seeds honestly. However, the good news, yes, the very same good news is this. When you accept love or Christ fully and make that love the Lord of your life, it will dissolve the rest. Thus, when you truly give yourself to love, all the other harvests of seeds you sow and fall away. The problem has often been that people accept love and they are filled and renewed, but then they choose doubt and fear again. Thus do I ask you for a depth of commitment to love never before given. Love has never been so available to you. Every bit of love you give will be magnified a thousandfold, multiplied by the rising light of my love in the world. So as you come to this Christmas time, whatever your spiritual perspective, please take time to open your heart to love. Oh, beloveds, let me return your world to light, to deep, rich, abiding joy. Let me love my children through your heart as Jesus did. Let the wise man of your true nature come to witness the birth in you of the light of living love that was in our beloved Jesus, the light of the living Christ. So be it.